on Funniest Pets and People, a very cheeky chipmunk, a cat on a roll, some kids play it cool, a girl gone wild, and a hamster in a tight space. So get ready to tear into the fun. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. These animals want to show off what they can do. <laughs> Lucky for them, they're already on TV. Here you go, boy. That's it. Go get it! This owner thinks, wow, my dog is having the time of his life. And this dog is thinking, God, my owner has lousy aim. Now look at what this furry fella can do. He can sort out envelopes and deliver them. As soon as he's done learning to drive the truck, he'll be replacing your mailman. Now here are a bunch of people in a tour bus making the big mistake of laughing at a bear just trying to scratch himself on a road sign. Better hope that thing is really solid. <laughs> no, no, not the sign. The tour bus. This dog figures if the bears, broncos, and dolphins can play football, why not him? You've heard of log rolling? Well, say hello to hog rolling. Check out what this little pup can do. He races out as fast as his legs can carry him to retrieve the mail. It's not that he's so well trained. He just thinks he might have won Publisher's Clearinghouse. Between this dog and the rat, maybe we'll start getting our mail on time. <laughs> Just when you really need to go, someone else is using the fire hydrant. <laughs> now I bet you wonder what this cat's doing. Well, let's just say on Halloween, somebody's doghouse is going to be TP'd like crazy. <laughs> Dog camping tips. You know, I kind of doubt he read the Boy Scout manual. Because this way, it's going to take him a really long time to start a fire. Check out this amazing winning pass from the quarterback. Amazing, right? Let's look at it again. Boy, this guy really listened when the coach told him to keep his head in the game. <laughs> These next clips are fall down funny. Check them out. Yeah, that's a cute little mini horse he's a setting out to ride. But you know what they say about what comes in small packages. Yup, big hospital bills. Ah, the majestic cheetah. 
The very name Cheetah evokes thoughts of agility, quickness, sleekness. Or spastic, clumsy, and dorkish. Now, most young girls would be a little frightened handling a live snake. Ah, but not this girl. She's totally, completely, insanely frightened. I guess this kitty has to learn the hard way. It's called cat on a hot tin roof. Not cats on a hot tin roof, that's a different show altogether. Oh yeah, I'm a cat. I'm so bad because I'm a cat. I'm cool, I'm slick, and I yeet yeet you I'm a cat. I'm so, what are you looking at? Look at the way this duck is holding onto that guy's leg. He just won't let go. And he can't do anything about it because he's also holding his kid. Which leads to the obvious question, why isn't the woman putting down the video camera and helping? <laughs> Who says two animals of different species can't get along? We do. Now here's a squirrel trying to climb up a pole to get to that bird feeder. And I mean nothing is going to stop him. Unless the pole is greased. Yeah, that'll do it every time. That greased pole thing. By the way, parents, you can use this same technique to keep your teenagers from the car keys. Donna, what did I say about climbing around in the superconducting particle accelerator? <laughs> now get out of there this instant! Coming up, a housebroken housebreaker and a rabid reupholsterer. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. They say animals relieve stress. That is, except when they're causing it. Look at the creative way Rex has found to get out his aggression. Really tears into him. Ripping that couch to shreds. Yeah, it's a really great way to relieve stress. Unless it happens to be your couch. The following is an actual Car Star call. Hello, this is Car Star. How can I assist you? Yeah, I'm being chased by a couple of huge horses. Uh huh. What kind of horses, sir? I think they're Palominos. Got it. And what is your location, sir? Uh, it's a giant corral somewhere. Okay, just relax. Has anyone hurt? No, not yet, but one of the horses just tried to trample me. Came pretty close. Well, we have you located and we're sending assistance. Okay, but could you make it quick? I'm almost out of batteries. <laughs> Now here's one turtle who has figured out a clever way of avoiding stress. It's called being a turtle. Well, as it turns out, it's not a dog-eat-dog -dog world after all. It's a dog-leap-dog -dog world. And speaking of being wound up, this dog has decided he wants that baby's mittens in the worst way. And the shocking part? 
He hasn't returned the baby's rattle, go-kart, or sand shovel. And here's a classic case of the tail wagging the dog, wagging the wagging dog's tail, by the tail of the dog wagging the tail's dog. Just classic. <laughs> Kitty plans for the day. Chase this thing around for 30 seconds, and then sleep for 11 hours. Who is using my stinking ham stir wheel? Stan thought one way to relieve stress was to teach his dog to play volleyball. And it is a great way to relieve stress. <laughs> if your dog doesn't like to trash talk. Dan, you hit like a girl. In your face, Danny boy. Great shot. Not. <laughs> take that. <laughs> what will it take to get Billy to react? A, a giant crab pinching his toe. B, a tidal wave. <laughs> or C, an asteroid plummeting to Earth. I'm sorry, the correct answer was nothing will get Billy to react. When an animal gets in a tight squeeze, there's only one thing to do, laugh at him. All units in the area near the playground, we have a canine B and E in progress. That's a canine barking and entering. In progress. Suspect is packing fleas and is a known slobberer. Let's be careful out there, people. Hey, I wonder what happens if I chase this toy through this hole. Okay, that wasn't good. Maybe if I yank myself around. No, no, that wasn't good. Hey, bro, can you lend a paw over here? Okay, that was a bad move. Hey, come on. Uh, okay, that's, that's better. Hey, that's not funny. Okay, well, gotta look on the bright side. At least you're not the dog. Oh, man. Hey, everyone in the pool! Or, no, just me in the pool. Ticket or no ticket, this is one hamster who is determined to see the new Stuart Little sequel. Hey, this chipmunk really loves pistachios. Yeah, it's funny. But what can you do? It's a normal instinct to stuff your face with so much food it doubles in size. Humans just call it Thanksgiving. Where is that hamster? <laughs> Boy, oh boy, I don't know how many times I can laugh at his clapping routine. I mean, yeah, I, I get it, it's cute and all, but... Dude, I can't laugh at this anymore. But I, I don't want to break her heart. No, 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 I'll keep going till she tires out. But please, let it be soon. Coming up, a little dog who's a little jumpy and the horse who gets behind on the job when we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Ah, the games people and animals play. Look at this dog playing along. It's not that he's so good at jumping rope. 
Mr. Pat Patio is hot. Why, might you ask, is this bunny rabbit playing cards? Because he's too short to pull the one-armed bandit. We're watching the Animal Billiards Classic, where reigning champion Minnesota Pete is tearing up the competition with amazingly long corner shots. He's using an unorthodox shot pattern here. I'm not quite sure what his strategy is. I think he's trying to break up the table to make it impossible for the competition to line up a shot. No, I think he's just mad at the balls. Yep, he's just mad at the balls. You're getting a glimpse of Callie, the world's best cat chess player. How do you get to be the world's best cat chess player? Well, mostly by being the world's only cat chess player. I bet you never expected to see a bird that could play Scrabble well. That's because there are none. This bird can't play to save his life. I mean, come on, it took him 11 hours to spell out Zukjik, and then he ate the tea, which frankly is even bad for a bird. Hey, everybody, it's time to play Junka! A game of such incredible difficulty and tension that the object is to get through it without one of your teammates toppling over. Whoops! Sandra gave way! Oh, too bad! Better luck next time, Billy! Now look at this little tight candle of ball. Yeah, you may think he's cute. But he just signed a pro contract for three million over five years plus an SUV filled with fruit roll-ups. Ah, the memories of teaching your kid baseball. The horrible, painful memories. Dog, we'll do now? Yeah. Okay. Wait right there. Okay, now, I want you to ease up to it. Sneak up on it. Get closer. Take a step. That's too close. Back up. Turn around. Get closer. Get closer. Turn the other way. All right, sneak up on it. Get closer. All right, now I'm going to count to three. Now, when I say three, you get that ball, but don't you get it till I say three. He, he said three several times. Yeah. When he get the ball. Well, how am I going to tell him when to get it without telling him when I say three, you can get it? What am I going to do, say, when I say, you know what, you can get it? <laughs> he understands. Why don't you? I said three, too. All right. Let's do this right. Get closer. Get closer. All right. One. Two. Five. Seven. Okay. I'll be nine. Nine. Eleven, three. <laughs> now don't take these next clips too seriously, because we're just horsing around. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Uh, nothing better than this. Except that. Except that. Oh, that's that's nice there. Yeah, it's a big, uh, horsey B-Day. I'm not gonna take it, see? I've had enough of this slop to eat. A horse can only take so much. Now, wait, wait a minute. I, I like slop. Now, here are a couple of horses who like their oats. Look at that horse's manners. Where was he raised? In a barn? We now return to the synchronized trotting competition, where the Albanians are opening with an impressively forceful beat. Note the tight formation. And they switch on a dime. 
to of all things hip hop. <laughs> Most surprising, Eric. It takes an Albanian to pull that off, Darlene. And now, a reverse switchback. And we're on to old Broadway. Yes, we've got to give it to them, Darlene. They know they're trotting. Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, PO Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Coming up, here comes the bride. Whoop, and there she goes. We return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. If anyone can think of a reason why these next clips should not be watched, speak now or forever hold your peace. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something black and blue. This groom is about to take part in the time-honored tossing the garter and losing your balance clumsily and falling over tradition. I'll be old-fashioned, but I always laugh at weddings. Weddings are like marriage. You never know what's gonna happen. The good news? Well, they were able to string tin cans and a just-married sign to the back of the ambulance. <laughs> 